<clears throat> Alrighty, what's going on? Stream. Today we got a nice little surprise. Nice, nice little surprise. So for right now, we are going to be featuring Red Guy's SA1 beta update that he recently just came out with. Uh, not that long ago, actually. So what this means is that everything that he has done for the super graphics such as Dirt Racer, Doom, Power Slide, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Stunt Racer X, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Vortex, Yoshi's Island. He basically implemented the same thing that he did with the Super FX chip to the SA1 chip. So that means games like Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension, games like Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Land 3, games like Super Mario RPG, the SD Gundam games, um, Super Robot Tyson Gaiden, like all those games from the SA1 chip will be playable now and that got me really hyped. Also, he implemented a way that a lot of hacks were able to be played from the SA1 from Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World, so on and so forth. So we're gonna try out some games today and see how far they work, how far this beta uh, update has came along for the SD to SNES. And you can get the update right now on the, the GitHub link that's all over the internet. Alright, so what I want to do first... Hmm. Thing is, I'm not sure which one is translated all the way. Hey, what's up, Ruby? Let's see what is translated all the way. I'm not sure if this is translated, but we'll try this one. Oh, that is dumb loud. It just doesn't look like the translated version that I'm looking for, but that's fine. I don't really need it super translated. Going good, Ruby. Just testing out the new SA1 games that came out for the SD to SNES cart today. Let's try out Vegeta. And I guess we'll put the dummy on Fat Boo. do you, Ruby? Oh, 
seems to be working. The speed for this game is a bit off. Because the game's supposed to run a hell of a lot faster than this. But if you don't know what SA-1 is for the Super Nintendo, you might want to look it up. That means I do have zero idea what, what I'm doing. Or even testing for that matter. That is Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension on the SA1 chip. Now, hold on. Hold on. This is going to be an, a reoccurring issue, I can already tell. gonna try out more shit. Alright, so Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension. Again, still needs a little work. Speed is not up to par per se. Now we're gonna play Kirby Superstar, which is a game that everyone's been waiting on.
No, it's 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 fast, but it's not it's not a hundred percent perfect yet. This is a beta. Give me a second, cause I need to look up something for my fiance. Okay, you done. It looks fast to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not emu. Well, I wouldn't say emulate because it's not an emulation. Let's just say that the the SD to SNES um, uses a FPGA chip, which basically, you know, tries to recreate the exact timing and speeds of a regular. Super Nintendo cart, which is basically why I have a, a multiple option for, uh, you know, a multiple outlet for uh, getting different games to be played on here. Thank you for the 13 months of subscribing. God damn, it's been really 13 months. Let them cherry sucker. <laughs> I might change the sub alert thingy from that cherry looking thing when people don't consistently sub to the channel. I might just change that, so I might do, um. I might do that in a little bit. Not really for a second. A little bit. But yeah, SC, I'm testing out the uh, SA1 uh, chip games for the SD to SNES. Which is basically what this means is like games like Super Mario RPG, Kirby Superstar, and stuff like that is now officially playable on the SD to SNES. Now, give me you. Thank you. 
car is running without <coughs> any problems, to be honest. Yes, that was a physical copy. I have two physical copies of Super Mario RPG. I have the Japanese version, which I um, can play on my Super Nintendo. But the thing is, the translation will be kind of rough because I don't speak Japanese, so... But yeah... Those are physical copies. This is technically like a physical copy in a sense because it's on a cart. It's just... If I was to explain to you how the process of all this shit works, then you'd be like, Oh, okay, but... You don't really know the process behind it, so it's kind of hard to explain. Oh, fuck, I did. Because these are real games that I am playing, and this is the way how you would get them on the cart, is by taking the the, the cart uh, ROM processor and basically make it to, you know, be playable on a physical cart. It's more or less the same thing. Yes, more or less, yes. That's the best way to explain it. Yes. I don't need buzz. Yeah, my shit pushed in. Oh, Lord. Let's switch to the next game. I can show you guys what it is. Alright, let me also plug in my webcam. See if we can get this running today, because I remember the last time we ran into some complications that, um, it just didn't work. <laughs> Alright, so that means it works there. Let me see if it works in its original slot now, because I had issues in this USB port before. <laughs> I really don't want to not use it. It says it's active. I don't know how true that is, so we're going to test that out. Just give me one second. Alright, there we go. So, I'm going to show you something, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, Ruby understands now, right? that this right here is my first ever Super Mario RPG uh, cart. This is a Japanese cart that I bought, okay? And it's mainly the same thing as if I was to play on the SD to SNES because it uses the same shell. And of course you have the pins on the bottom which reads the, the ROM dump and you're basically, you know, putting it onto this cart so it's playable. So it's more or less the same thing. This can be played on Super Nintendo regardless but it needs to be translated so having like a uh, a Retron 5 or a console that can do translation patches will benefit this one for sure now the one that I was playing on is the American version of Super Mario RPG and this is where I got to like the majority of the game in again the shell is different because it's an American but 
you know, Super Nintendo, there's ways to do it. See, has a different chip thing, but again, this this right here uses SA uh, SA1. So this is an SA1 game, and now I'm able to finally play it without using the the official cards. I can play them on my uh, EverDrive card, which will save me time and. I can do like a shit ton of cool stuff with it, so that's a plus side to that. And I always have original games that I stream, so on and so forth. So it's just like, you know, stuff like that. Okay, um, I could disable this camera now. I really don't need it on. <laughs> I turn this off, turn this off, put this back on. All right, cool. So now we're gonna go into another uh, SA1 game. And my thing is, I don't see what I wanted to play for some odd reason. Oh, here it is. You guys should know this game very well. You know, if the title doesn't give it away. One second, guys. I just got a, a message from someone. Now, let's see who I want to play with. We've been playing with a lot of anti characters. Let's play with Squimby. This is the game that I was playing the last time and I died without realizing the... Um, you see where it says the O at? Where it's like the, the second to last option where it's like, oh! That last time when I did it with the, the character I was playing with, it basically resetted all my shit. And that's not something you want to do again, so... Try not to get that. <laughs> Oh my dumb ass hit the fucking thing. Alright, son. Alright, son. And of course, they're gonna start me off right here. 
I gotta kind of pay attention because... Oh my god, son. You're like beating the crap out of me right now. I gotta focus on. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting blown the fuck up. Yeah, let's back out. Yeah, that's a game over. Uh, thank you for playing. Choose another character, because it seems like that character wasn't, like, suited for, like, ground, like, missiles, like how Vic Viper is, or how, like, um, this girl was, so, let's get, let's do, let's keep it original, let's get Vic Viper. Keep it original, we stay with Vic Viper. And see if he throws missiles with the auto feature on. Yes, he does. Good. This will help a lot. Jesus Christ, there's so much on the screen <laughs> made it to the fucking end. Ah, oh, this game is addictive as shit. Damn, it's those fucking ones at the end, son. This wasn't that difficult the last time I played it, though. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, yo. I am like getting blown up. And it's like I can't I can't uh I can't avoid it. <laughs> oh wow, that come on man, that's this is crazy. I am like legitimately getting blown up. Oh uh, Jesus Christ, man. I played with her the last time. I might the cat. I don't know what the fuck's on. T risk with the four viewer host. Oh shit! Oh, 
Alrighty. Force field. This is the part that I fucking failed on because, like a dumbass, I um. I hit the wrong uh, power up that was needed. Wow. 
we have here hmm. we also have Kirby's Dreamland 3 try that out Love you. Level one. This seems to work.
<laughs> they make weird faces. <laughs> he bad as fuck. <laughs> He's like, you goddamn it. I wanted to be with you. This game works. Alright, next. Alright, the next one I want to try is... Most, ma most likely Super Mario RPG. Let's get it! This is the game that everyone wanted to play. Damn, man. Damn. What's my name gonna be? I'll just put Mario. Oops. <laughs> and let's let it play out, shall we? <laughs> so far, it seems to be good. But I will let you guys know if there's any, like, weird timing issues, because I've beaten the shit out of this game in the past. So I would know. Thank you. 
far seems really good. No, I've been hitting the chain a little bit. Bang! Get body! bitch. Thank you. 
Damn firmware patch from Red Guy is the damn truth. I tell you that. I get to finally play fucking SA1 games on my goddamn SD to SNES. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And please don't forget, guys, this stream is brought to you by Brooklyn Video Games. You can check them out on all social media, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and Twitch. We also have an Instagram. You can find that very easy. You can type in Brooklyn Video Games. But yeah, this is the number one choice for me to go to with my retro needs, repairs, modification, and so on. Definitely check these guys out. They help me out a lot with my stream. And I've also been helping them with uh, the partnership we have to get their store running with uh, Kings of Fighters 2002 for, you know, casual play and uh, future tournaments. Definitely check them out. If you're ever in Brooklyn. A small little spot, but don't let that fool you, you know. Lucky. Because every time I do that, I always get fucked. Let's not do that. You're dead. Nice. 
So max HP, defense, magical attack. We all need that attack boost. And don't forget, guys, I do have a donation incentive up right now. Uh, 31 days to go. I could probably extend it a little bit longer. But what I'm trying to do is get um, some official original arcade hardware for you guys to see on stream and to play the real Doom experience of these games. And I'm asking for $1,500. It's, again, it's kind of costly because you have to think about finding it at a good price. You also have to pay a person to help you fix this piece up together to make everything run as smooth as possible. And for like other items like, you know, the motherboards, the, the multi-kits, the super guns, so on and so forth. It's going to be a little costly. So I'm asking for $1,500 thanks to NYC Playboy with the first donation of it of giving me a hundred dollars greatly appreciate that but if anything helps whether if it's a dollar five dollars anything more than that be greatly appreciated and i would love the support if possible because i want to give back to the community for showing their support to what i'm trying to do with along with myself retro rgb Beast 1x5, I fixed Retro, I fixed Machine Arcade, NYC Furby, you know, Cruise Link 2, a lot of us out there, Voltar, Citrus uh, 3000 PSI, Smoke Monster, we got a lot of fucking people there. It's just like it's a shit ton of people out there. HD Retro Vision, My Life in Gaming, there's a whole bunch of us that's trying to preserve and make the retro scene stay what it's supposed to be in for it to grow on people you know because you never know how much people don't know about this stuff like not many people knew that you can increase the, the sharpness the color on uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Genesis, Saturn, PlayStation 1, 2, Dreamcast, GameCube, like a shit ton of systems that no one thought that would have been possible. And I want to showcase that a lot of people need to see. Also, um, Retro, I think it, what is it, Retro NYC Reloaded? Or Judgment, whatever you want to call him. He's also up there with the Retro stuff. Um, yeah, it's just a shit ton of things that I want to show people. But I will give proper shout outs where it's due on Twitter. And I'll let everyone else, if you guys do follow me already on Twitter, then you'll know who to follow for this cool stuff. with the horse just speaking about you. So definitely give him give him a look guys, whether if it's on social media or going in person to the physical store. Definitely something you would enjoy and appreciate if you're a retro gamer. Or a gamer in general. 
Yeah, I got my hammer and my flower jar. My jar tag. So far I see no issues with this game specifically as well. The Rodeo is very fucking godlike. something because um, I had an app on here and it didn't work. I think I took it out actually. Yeah, I have to see if I can get it back. Stairs to the vault and some items. Thanks, bro. second character. Thank you. 
Excuse me, what the fuck is this sign? <laughs> See if there's anything else I can play on here. Really, right now there's not much SA1 games besides those. But it's fucking awesome we could play them, right? I mean, if anything, I'll probably stream something else. I'll probably cut this off and come back on. What a different uh, thing, thing. Get this slimy ass motherfucker. thing to do. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna need a damn shirt. Definitely gonna need some more fucking pants. Definitely gonna need some jump shoes. I 
that's good. Equipped. Save it. Slightly a bit stronger. Alright! Let's, uh, let's switch it for something else if there isn't anything else to play. Let's see if there is. I do have this game, the Super Robot Tyson. It's the original. I'm pretty sure we got that translated somewhere here. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Super Robot Tyson. Super Robot Wars. I think it's Super Robot Wars. Let me see. All right. Shin Raven with the holes. Let's see if this is it. I really don't know if it is or not. This is definitely not it. Super Famicom Wars, oh my god. That's silly. But, huh. I'm surprised that, um. Huh. Let's just run it. Oh, this might actually be the fucking game and I'm an idiot. Oh no, it's definitely not. Definitely tell there's a difference. Yeah. This game is fucking good too. Don't have it translated, that's the thing. Pretty sure I have it on here, it's probably on their different name. See if I can get into a fight.
I gotta get the translated version of this. It works. I'm really hyped for that too. It works. Super FX and the SA1 chips were like the ones to get. It's pretty much all the ones I wanted to play. Everything else is like, eh, you know, meh. I heard this was a good game, Marvelous. And then you had this game. Which apparently has the intro music for the Power Ranger thing. Let's listen to that. Zio. See how that looks when I zoom in on it. Well, that was way unnecessary when I zoom. Oh, actually, it looks like a dumb pixel. What? No. That's how I know that shit was fake, because you, for one, right now, would have to have your exact name. Nuts. Oh well, yeah. So that is the Red Guys SA1 Beta firmware for the SD to SNES. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Hour and 32 minutes. Alright, so do you guys want me to play something else possibly? Because it's still kind of early. I'm probably going stream for a little bit longer. I don't know what you guys would want me to play though. Because I kind of demoed off all the SA1 games. And Squadron? This better be not another shitty game. 